Okay, this is Dave Sullivan. It's in mid-August of 1970, or wait, 2003. And uh, I'm here to record information about 240 Southeast 6th, or 5th Street. 240 Southeast 5th Street. The historic home on, um, in down, near downtown Albany. And so we're taking a a look at this home and it's been uh, damaged with a fire. You can see here where um, things are broken out and the porch itself is in um, rather poor shape. However the roof looks like it's been recently redone. So let's take a look more up close as to what's going on with this home. When we come up close, we can see that the roof, uh, that the porch has been, uh, is in moderately sad shape. Things are hanging there. We have uh, scattered furniture lying about. We have a broken window. We can see just a little bit into the uh, middle of the house through the broken front door. Oh, sorry. Okay, now we're looking at the front door and the transom over the top of it and then there's also another front door with the transom here and then someone has removed the paint and started work on trying to rehab the, um, the porch situation although there's no side post on the side of the porch. Now I'm going to walk around to the side of the house we can see that the railings here are sort of broken out and um, We've got a foundation with brick and a variety of junk. We look forward, we can see the side of this porch. Um, there are cracks in these windows, but they haven't actually blown out. Uh, and then this is the side porch area. And in the side porch area, we can see that um, some work was done to sort of start refinishing the porch, and then the fire hit this as well. So. Now we can take a look inside and see what kind of information we get going on in the middle of this home. It, it looks pretty bleak. All right, so the side rails of the porch are in bad shape. Let's walk over and take a look at the um, garage. Now the garage is an original historic building, um, but it obviously has sagged in the back. It has a really crummy door that would need to be replaced. We've got a junk car in the front and then a fence here. Behind the fence is a variety of junk that's just lying around in the yard. Um, can't see inside the garage because it's all locked up. Okay, now when we look at this view of the house, we can see that the house has a little back area. I believe that was an add-on. Um, and then we're continuing with a sort of brick foundation around the side. We have a window broken out up on top. Uh, and then um, some storm windows here that are still in shape. That looks better than I would have thought. Um, and a side door to the garage. A variety of junk in the backyard. And we can see the window that I'm going to try and go through here shortly to get into the house. As we look at what's going on in the rest of the backyard, it's really quite the place in terms of just a disaster. Now I'm going to uh, continue over to where we can get a view of the side of the house. And it looks like we've got one aluminum window here, another aluminum window in the back bathroom, another aluminum window there. So we've got four aluminum windows in this side that need to be replaced. and. Um, then one aluminum window here. Now I'm going to shut things off while I try and figure out a way to, to crawl my way into the inside of the house. 